Collier, New Revolutionary, on the mission. The mission for me is to avert World War III and solve all of humanity's issues to a point that we have no more war, no more poverty, no famine, adequate protection, and we're the fairest, best society and economy we can be. And I just recently uh, went through a breakup with my girlfriend and... um, She's become uh, trans. Uh, she identifies as a uh, bitch now. And no, I'm kidding. <laughs> one-liners. Got the one-liners in, in in between the high-minded fixing of humanity. First, don't look at each other as bitches. Or these racial terms. Or these national terms. Chinese versus American. Black versus white. Bitches versus dudes. Uh, dicks. Uh, 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 Red, black, Latina, uh, LGBT, this. We all got labels. So just accept the labels and don't fight over the labels like tribalism and come together to solve the world's issues instead of spending a ton on militaries that we use to kill each other. That seems first and foremost. But have a great military that's all together to space, to space. Because you don't know what could come out of there. If 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 it's an all omnipotent conscious species who's ahead of us, who determined how to sustainably live together unviolently, then we're in luck, 50-50. If it's a violent, genocidal, uh, advanced technology uh, a society that needs our resources and is anything like us in the past, we're fucked. Because, you know, human history has been whoever has the highest technology, they go fucking take everybody out and take their shit and so we got to start preparing and we got to have good farming and food and prevent climate change using wind solar uh, geothermal stations outside the borders of the ocean of the u.s that are also militarized like china so we have a super protected shoreline and a super protected border There's got to be laws. People can come in and out. And I love immigration. And immigrants built this country. And we need all people of all types with all sorts of backgrounds to make our vibrant, flourishing society great. But you got to keep bad guys out and drugs and weapons and all sorts of shit in this new era. And on those islands would have, you know, wind, geothermal, solar. And we would also use nuclear to bridge the gap between fossil fuels and green technology which is clean keeps the environment cool and will make trillions of dollars and it's a new american industry and everybody used to be in factories will be trained for that industry it's the solution to all of our problems and the more essential minerals and chips we have the faster we can expand and so china's got all the essential minerals lithium cobalt all the things you need to make iphones and chips and all this stuff for green energy and 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 the ai advance Um, and we have access to more chips so if we just go do space engineering with a, 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 an AI-controlled futuristic spaceship and can find a way to mine asteroids and find one asteroid with maybe $5 trillion worth of cobalt and lithium and chip-making materials, and then the whole world's rich, we split it up, we put all the shit in place, and we uh, farm smoother and you know make the whole thing hum, make the whole thing hum. The whole global, sustainable, eco-friendly human. And now we will have time for other things. And as human beings, we need to heal. We're too productive for how much AI and robotics are doing shit. We need to put more of our time into healing each other and social services and um, yoga and um, alternative modalities of healing and poetry and creativity and inspiring each other and engineering and inventing stuff and you know i think i truly believe there's enough wealth to go around especially if we start killing it in space to provide for everybody and we'll have a sovereign usa inc fund that will go to all the top motherfuckers jamie demon uh uh, warren buffett you know hey fellas can you come serve your country and run this fund and put the things that should naturally be in there in there like uh, essential minerals that are new found on federal lands, uh, new patents and trademarks and IP and inventions from NASA and the military, and um, you know uh, the stuff that's America's, obviously. And I think, as unpleasant as it would be for people, oil, coal, and the dirty fuels that we got to f- f- uh, 
phase out. So, if, you know, motherfuckers aren't going to listen, you know, to what's got to be done. And that's got to be controlled and managed for energy independence with the new green. So you got to manage that all together anyway. And make a bunch of money for America that is used to fund our budget. And so say that couple trillion dollar fund spits out X percent each year. It covers 500 billion to $2 trillion worth of dividends that pay for our, our federal budget. If we can have nationalized debt, why can't we have nationalized profit? Why can't the country make the money that spits out the dividends, the royalty income from the assets of America to pay for things like care for people and uh, health insurance and all the social services we need to make a vibrant, healthy society, you know, and make the military focus on just like super new wave shit, lasers, AI, drones, all sorts of everything that's legal na uh, internationally and, and to protect America and, and, and quit doing all these wars. And, and put it all at home with the, you know, the militarized islands and the, the climate change preparation with levy making. And maybe we got to organize like Peace Corps of America and like a civil service for, you know, one to 10 years of whatever you want to donate to America, like serve just like in the military, but you don't need to fight. You can also like plant trees and build levees and, and give psychology services to people and, um, you know, all sorts of stuff. And so, depending on how long you serve, one to 10 years would determine the amount of UBI, universal basic income, you would get. So this machine, income asset machine, America's, run by America for America, uh, for the people, it pays for itself. And with the UBI, people can have the f basics security. I think we need a new deal, you know, in the new deal after the Great Depression and the elites fucked up the entire economy and no one could eat. You had to change some shit. You can't be doing that. And you got to pay your fair share. Income inequality is going up over the past 50 years. You can't be greedy. We got to do it for us all. So we have a beautiful, thriving society. We're a rich country. We can do it. So it's for America. I'm not going to force it. No communism, no socialism, no over taxes. I'm just going to go inspire it. Let's just create a fucking Nonprofit, inspire fund, no mandatory uh, anything. No, uh, I don't like mandates and you have to take this or this, you know, body autonomy. So if you don't want to take the vaccine, you don't got to take the vaccine. And if you want an abortion, you get an abortion. But that's a 50 50 to each side. Now we're even. You know, whatever, the body autonomy, freedom. We're human beings. We deserve to be loved and treated right by our country. And we can invent shit that covers that. And so you get UBI, maybe a grand, two grand a month, whatever it is that just pays bills because the housing market's insane now, two, three grand a month. And you still got $7 minimum wage. How the fuck you make that equation make sense? Plus you're sick because they're spouting pollution into the air. So you're getting cancer. That's not, a, somebody's paying that. You can't get a free lunch. Somebody's paying that because you're spitting fucking asshole, asshole, asshole mean into the sky, not thinking about the hydrodroxyl, you know, fucking plastic methylamine for, that you made from the thing. And you just got it like, you got to like, <sighs> you got to be healthy because some other company's paying that in healthcare costs. You see what I'm saying? What's bad for somebody's bad for you. It's bad for all of us. So we got to do good shit and we'll make the tax system way easier, right? Here we go. No more low loopholes. No more hedge fund breaks. No more private equity cheating the system. No more international whatever. Cut the whole tax code, 80,000 pages. And for everyone, every entity, person or business, 10% to the house. Just pay the house. You know, like the mob for protection, like no one's gonna get mad. People would be ecstatic. Yep, 10% to the house. Good old America, I love paying that. And to make up for the lost revenue, we have the assets that will spit revenue for the public budget. And we will gain it in a Buddhist-based consumption-based efficiency tax, sustainability tax, a um, you know carbon footprint tax, right? So the less something is necessary and the more unhealthy it is, the more it's taxed. Cigarettes, yachts, you don't need those. Free to buy them, it's America, but if you're gonna pay it, you gotta pay for your carbon footprint of buying the unnecessary shit. And this necessary shit, bananas, water, medicine, not taxed, you know, you need those. So it'll all even itself out and the whole thing will hum and we'll get the best minds to do it. <clears throat> and it, let's invest in America. Let's heal America. 
you know, let's let's put it to work and learn more and do dope shit and get back to being the greatest. We can't say we're the greatest and we're in charge and everyone has to listen to us because we're America if we're acting like a bunch of dumb fucks. We got to get our house in order. You, you can't just say I'm the leader. You can't just say we're the best team. You got to play good in the championships. You got to play good in the championships. If you play bad, you're not the fucking champion. And we're playing shitty right now. 50-50, red versus blue. It's no way to win a game. And life's also a dance. We gotta fucking flow together again, man. No more fighting. Let's figure this out. We're smart as shit. Let's get together in a room, figure it out. I just got stoned and came up with that. Fucking do a little thinking. I don't know shit. Right now, 76. Thinking. I don't know shit. I don't know shit.